Today we're going to look at some shoulder mobility, particularly good for swimmers who are trying to get that extra reach within the stroke, good for people in the gym lifting overhead for precision and stability, and even better for people who are sitting at the desk all day in this kind of position. So starting off, we're going to begin on the floor. We're going to start with child's pose, so your knees come out towards the side, bottom comes down towards the heels, and then walk the arms forwards, but stay up on your fingertips. So we're going to create a little dome through the hands, and then keep walking the fingertips as far forward as you can to keep that elevation. So we're thinking that someone is trying to pick us up through our armpits, but you're pinning yourself down towards the floor. So inhale. Breathe in and dome the spine a little bit and exhale. See if you can lengthen just a bit further. Two more. Inhale to lift slightly. Exhale to lengthen. And one more time. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lengthen. Walk your hands over towards the right hand side. They can come off the mat. That's fine. Left hand's going to place to the floor and your right hand's going to go on top, pinning it down. We're trying to pull our left little finger as far away from our left hip as possible whilst trying to draw that hip down towards the floor. So creating that length all the way down through the side of the body. Breathing in and breathing out. Come back to the centre, opposite side. So hands walk over towards the left. The right hand goes to the floor and then take your left hand, place it on top, helps to pin it down. Left little, right little finger, sorry, is reaching away from the right hip. So draw that right hip down towards the floor. Feel that stretch all the way down through the armpit. Hands come back towards the middle. Lifting yourself up just slightly and then draw the knees in so they're hip distance apart. The bottom's going to be situated over the knees for this one and we're just going to walk our hands forwards. And thinking about the overhead range here. So how straight can you make the arms and how strong can we stay? We're either staying up here high or we're going to bring the chest down towards the floor. Puppy pose, Anahatasana for your yogis. Maybe the chin rests to the floor. Maybe the chest comes down towards the floor. Maybe you stay up higher in the active version of the pose. Taking a couple of breaths in and exhale out. Thinking inhale to lengthen, exhale to soften. Walk the hands back in. And the next part, we're going to stay seated. So if it's comfortable for you to do so, you can stay seated on the heels. If it's not, we can come around to cross-legged or any other variation of a seated pose. We're going to take our arms out towards the side. So just before we start, as you reach out, just see if you can create that length here. So fingertips away from the shoulders. Turn the palms to face up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale in and lift through the arms. Remember, this is not a race, so going slower will give you more observation about the body. Turn the palms to face down towards the floor. Exhale as if you're pressing down something towards the floor. When we get to the bottom, switch again. So inhale, turn the palms up, breathe in to lift, and then exhale, turn the palms down and come in down towards the floor. Last one, we're going to stay at the top. So take another big inhale, lift through the fingertips. When you come to the top, interlace the fingers, turn the palms to face towards the ceiling. A bit like we did in the child's pose on the floor, we're going to take it each side. So firstly, lean over towards your left hand side. Come back to the centre and then lean over towards the right. Go long before you lean. Back to the centre, one each way. So over towards the left and then back to centre, over towards the right. Good. Back to centre, release the arms down beside you, take a nice little shoulder roll just to release. And then we'll go again. Arms reach up towards the ceiling, palms facing towards the sky. And exhale for, for the cactus pose. So elbows come out towards the side and the chest tries to come forwards. Inhale as we lift, just showing you from the side. Exhale again to cactus. You'll see the chest leads and we create a little arch in the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hold that cactus there. See if you can spread the fingertips nice and wide. Make the palms as big as you can. Breathing in and breathing out. Release the arms down. Little shoulder roll. And then go back to that cactus shape. So arms come up towards the ceiling and then our elbows come out towards the side. This time we're going to cross our arms towards each other. So elbows come to me and then inhale, we open again. One more time. Come in to meet and then open. And then this time we're going to cross over. So we're coming here, right elbow goes over left. Option to bring the palms round to wrap around your shoulders. So baby bird pose. And from here, maybe you can lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. If you practice Garudasana eagle pose, then crossing at the elbows and crossing at the wrist. Try and get the palms to touch each other, if not the backs of the hands. Breathing in and again, that little lift through the elbows. So fingertips go up towards the ceiling. 
Maybe you take that back bend, fingertips reach over, you look past the end of your fingertips. Keep breathing in that pose, so only take it to the version where you can still breathe. One more breath, wherever you are, and then exhale, release. Release the bind, release the arms, take a lovely little shoulder roll. Opposite side, arms reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, make the cactus shape to start with. And then this time we're wrapping left elbow over right. Option one is your baby bird. So reach for the shoulders. See if you can stretch across the back of the shoulders and then lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. If you want the double bind, we cross at the elbows, we cross at the wrists, Garadasana Eagle. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. See if you can lift through the elbows. Maybe you get slightly higher than last time. Maybe you can't bind this time. Remember, each side can be very different to each other. Reaching over towards the back of your space. And then release, release the spine, release the elbows, release the arms towards the floor. Nice little shoulder roll. One more. We're gonna reach our arms up towards the ceiling. This time you're just gonna bend the right elbow, take the right hand behind you and reach for the shoulder blades. The left arm is gonna go all the way around, big circle. And then the back of the hand comes towards and the palm of the hand faces outwards. We're trying to get the fingertips to touch. If you can't get the fingertips to touch, just take hold of the back of your top and use that. Otherwise, reach the hand up, take hold fingertips to fingertips, and then we're stretching long, so that right elbow is reaching up towards the ceiling. Again, the chest is moving forwards. You can choose to look towards the ceiling if you want. Maybe that tiny little back bend, inhaling and exhaling. Just see if you can breathe in that pose. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release the bind if you bound, right hand comes around, left arm releases, and again, a nice little shoulder roll. Last one, we move to the other side. So arms reach up towards the sky to start with. Left elbow bends, left palm of the hand places between the shoulder blades. Right arm comes all the way round, that external rotation. Palm faces out, fingertips come to touch. Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Left elbow reaches up towards the ceiling, so find this length here and then breathing in and breathing out. Inhale one more time, exhale, release. Release the bind, release the arms, take a big giant shoulder roll. Give the arms a nice little shake off and then come back to where we started. So child's pose, knees come out towards the edges of the mat, bottom sits back towards the heels to start with and then we walk the arms forwards. The elbows are going to come down on this one. So bend the elbows, relax the arms, let the chest come down towards the floor and if you can the forehead touches the floor. Take a little roll of the head from side to side, massaging that vagus nerve, tapping you into your parasympathetic nervous system. And then from there just walking the hands in, come back to seated and you're all done for today. Thank you very much.